Hello everybody, this is uh, Dr. Nurwad Shah from the University of uh, Engineering and Technology, Peshawar. Uh, this lecture will be uh, all about regular falsi method uh, through calculator, uh, how to do that by using calculator directly. So initially I'll be just explaining the main steps of the method. Uh, this method is very similar to um, bisection method and this method is also known as bracketing method. The only difference from uh, the bisection method that we are finding that intermediate value by a different uh, formula which is obtained from uh, secant line joining the two points. Okay, let's suppose we want to solve this uh, equation f of x is equal to zero and that equation should have a root in the interval uh, a b. So f of a and f of b they would have same sign that's what we have in a bisection method as well. Then what do we do? We find the intermediate value and intermediate point uh, by using this formula x r and this is a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a and uh, this formula uh, can be obtained by if we join uh, these two points a f of a and b f of b through a secant line then a point where the line the secant line intersects the x-axis that would give you this point from that um, equation of line we will find this point so once we have done that xr that's the uh, intermediate point then we would find the value of function at the point x equal to xr okay so you need to find f of xr and then you would observe the sign of f of xr whether it is similar to f of a or it is similar to f of b if f of a and f of xr if they have opposite sign then you would replace b with xr or f of a and f of xr if they have same sign in that case you would replace a with xr and then we'll repeat, uh, repeat the process. You simply take uh, here the value now xr for this case without loss of probability, and b will remain the same. So I'm going to explain this, this, these steps through calculator. Uh, uh, before I do that, let me ex explain the example. So we want to solve this equation uh, by using calculator. Right, so uh, uh, we need to find the real root of this equation x cubed minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, first, we need to uh, have an interval in which the root will, will, will lie, and that is what you see f of 2 that is minus 1. We put here 8 minus 4 minus 5 that's minus 1, whereas f of 3 that is 16. If you put here 27 minus 6 minus 5 is 16. So, this is negative, this is positive, which means the equation f of x is equal to 0 will have. A root in the interval uh, 2 to 3. Now what do we do? We need to find the, the intermediate point, right? So uh, it can be done easily by using this formula a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. We assume this is f of a whereas this is f of b because a is 2 and b is 3. Okay, so if you simplify that, that's 2 multiplied by 16 minus 3 into minus 1, that is plus 1, so that's divided by 17, that would give you 2.05 double eight two seven and so on. Now what we'll do, you would simply put this value in this function, f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x minus 5, and then we find the value of this function, which is minus 0 0.3907917, which is negative. If this is negative, so what would you do? We would basically replace the value of a or b according to its function value sign. See, f of 2 is negative, whereas f of 3 is positive. We get a negative value here. It means we would replace this value, this is a, with this value, keeping in mind 2.058235. So this is our new a. It means the root of this equation will lie between now 2.0588 and 3. Okay, so again, now using A is equal to this one and B equal to 3, applying this formula again, we will get another value of uh, XR, which we labeled as X2. And X2 can be simply found by the same formula, simply replacing. Uh, a with uh, 2.0588 and f of a with minus 0 0.3907, 
right? So uh, putting those values, we get what? This is x2, and again, you see f of x2, if you put this value in the equation, that would give you a negative value. So this is negative, means what? The previous negative value was at a is equal to 2.0588, Right, so that was negative, so we're going to neglect this value now again, replacing a with now x2. Okay, so this process will be repeated, and uh, obviously, then again, we find x3. x3 uh, will be found in similar way. Okay, then we find x4, x5, x6, and x7. I think I'm missing somewhere here one value uh, for x3. Okay. We will be using this. This is uh, as our a. This is our b. Is three corresponding f of a will be used this value, and f of b will be used this value. We will be getting a value uh, for x three, and then we will get x four, x five, x six, and x seven. Now you see that these roots are con uh, con uh, accurate up to three decimal places: 2.0943, 2.0944. So it is repeating up to three decimal places. So this is accurate up to uh, three decimal places. Okay, uh, now let me use the calculator for it. How do we do all these steps by calculator directly? Uh, so let me open the calculator. As I said in last video, if you have watched right, um, that you need to have the mode of calculator be in math mode. If your calculator is not in that mode, so simply go to setup or mode and then press one. Okay. They will get uh, math mode and similarly if you have you have uh, to have the calculator in radian modes as well if you are solving a transcendental equation with trigonometric functions okay so what do we do now uh, we, we need to define the value of functions as well first okay and then we will be defining x as well so let me call this one is f keeping in mind that uh, you should know what is f and what is this one so i'm uh, using a notation uh, f for this e for this one let's suppose this is e for me and this will be f for me this will be x for me and these are a and b okay so what would i do i would first define uh, my e from here so i would simply say e equals that's the function you see this one so i'll be taking a cube okay that's with shift a cube minus 2a and then minus 5 right that will find this value for me if i give it uh, x equal to 2 and then i'll just introduce a separator then i'll find f and you should remember that f will be this one my f of b will be f okay so i'll just replace this with f f is here then i go to equal Keeping in mind, you will be using this equal, not this one. It's assigning equal. So f is equal to the same thing, only change b uh, a with b. So I'll be going for b and then with uh, b cube, okay, minus, and then we have 2b. Okay, so it's simple now. And then we have minus 5. Then again, a separator. Now what would I do? I will define x by using this formula. So let me introduce that x and this is equal. The formula is, you know, this is a f of b. So I would simply type a f of b, which is denoted by f minus b f of a, where f of a is denoted by e divided by f of b minus f of a so i would simply write f f minus e okay so that would find uh, uh, x for me and then in the next step i would find now the value of the function at that point to see what we do here so i'll be fine let me call that uh, y and then this is equal to the rest is straightforward. I will be simply using uh, this formula x and then cube minus 2x and then minus 5. Okay, so I'm all done now. You would see all the formulas here. 
uh, first you should keep in, keep in mind that uh, I am using E for f of a whereas uh, f for f of b right and then uh, I'll be finding x first you see there by using formula a f of b minus b f of a by f of b minus f of a and then I'll find the value of y which is obviously the value of function at x see this one okay uh, now what would I do I would simply press this calc button and then it would ask about the value of a so a in this case is 2 so I'll simply press 2 my b is what that is 3 so I'll press 3 then I'll press equal so you see that it has given me this value which is negative keeping in mind that this is negative it's most important that you should remember that whether f of a is negative or f of b is positive based on the sign of the value of function we will be replacing one of these values a or b with x and that is obviously based on the sign of this value so keeping in mind that f of a is negative press again we get f of b which is 16 positive then it will give you the value of x which is the same what we had here you see that is 2.05 double a 23529 something right and then you will press equal to get the value of uh, uh, y as well that's a function value right minus 3 minus 0 0.3907 and so on this is now negative this is the most important step this is now negative and the previous negative it was at x equal to 2 so it means that is a that you will replace a with the value of x which is this one so when you press equal it will ask for a again but we need to replace this a with this value so you don't need to type this big value again you simply say I'm giving you the value of x so simply press equal you don't need to change b b will remain same 3 so it's all right then you go for the value which is already uh, known this value you see and for f of uh, uh, b we'll be using same this formula this so this value which is 16. now it would find uh, another value of x for us which is 2.08939 and so on it would also find a value of y for us which is f of x and that is minus 147 and so on again this is negative so we have this negative value it means again we would replace the value of a with x2 so you see it's asked for a so i'll simply give it what i'll give you x that is equal b remain the same so we will be finding another value again it's negative it means i need to change again the value of what this is negative i will replace the value of a again so uh, replacing a with what again with x so you get this one this one and then we find x again which is 2.09273975 right so you see that and then the value if you check that it's again negative it means we would replace a again with what with x so you see again a then replace that with x then press equal b will remain the same and then we have e f x is now 2.938371 here you see that okay so if you press equal again you get a negative value it's a smaller value because we are getting closer to the root so it's a very small value but it's a negative value it means you need to change again the value of a with x Okay, see, so we're getting to this point 2.94305 and so on. So let's press this one, then B same, E same, F same. Now you see another X is 2.09, 2.09430545251. Or right? So again, if you find the value, it's a negative value. Again, you would replace A with X, so it will be further giving you the improved value. So if I put X here, this is equal this is this one this one same same now you see x is what 2.09446846 that's the seventh iteration which is correct up to three decimal places but the most important thing is which value you would replace right when you get the value of function f of x so if that is negative so you would replace the value of x or a with this x if it is negative you replace b if this is negative so the same sign for the same sign 
you will be uh, uh, replacing the values. So thank you very much. See you in next video.